Welcome back to Quadrilateral Cowboy. Last episode we got through Job Zero, taking a picture of the contract as part of our planning. I think we're just running through simulations and then after after Job 2 then we're going to go on to Showtime, the actual thing, I think. So for now we have another simulation, Waiting Game. Heist Planner V1. Damn, that's dark. Uh, oh, right, there's a lantern. Yeah. Oh, I love how yellow the lantern is. Um. Hold on, is this like a bunch of new stuff, or am I just all the way forwards? I think I'm just all the way forwards in the book. So this is what we're dealing with. Wish field repels deck equipment. Uh oh, that's a new thing. I see a couple of cases listed, probably what we need to get. Alarm triggers if door slash skylight stay open longer than three seconds. Okay, that's easy. Telnet wait commands, wait, uh huh. And this is stuff we've already seen. Well, we haven't seen the far back pages because I don't think they're relevant yet. The auto case can be wirelessly operated via portable deck. What is this gimbal thing? Right, learn three seconds. Bad. Oh, hey! Oh, that's so cool. Look at the traffic. That's so cool. <laughs> I love really, really distant traffic simulations. Also, this is a brutal traffic simulation. That's a lot of traffic. Dear God. Incredibly efficient, though. In reality, it'd just be start, stop, start, stop. Skylight, oh, oh no, I'm already telnetted. Skylight one dot open for three seconds. Boop. Anti-electrostatic wish field. No deck equipment allowed beyond this point. What does that say? Warning, conductive field will repel deck equipment. I'm kind of curious what would happen if I walked inside. Like, would it just stop me from walking? Would it hurt me? Would it destroy my equipment? It's telling me how to add delay, so I think that's going to be really important. Hmm. So I can't actually turn this off, can I? It's not highlighted in green. It doesn't have a name. So I think, I think that's why it's telling me the wait commands, because I'm going to have to queue up my commands before I actually go inside, because I won't have my deck inside. I think that's what it's saying. See, so yeah, what's in there? I think it's just the camera. How am I going to get out, though? Is the issue. <laughs> right, because I'm not going to have my deck in there, so... If I set the camera to turn off for three seconds, I can walk inside, but then getting out might be a little bit more difficult, because I'm not sure how long I'm going to spend in there. And I think that's just the other one. Yeah, all right. I'll just add a really big delay between the second time turning the camera off to give me time to do stuff in there. I wonder how long the delay can be. There's got to be some limit. Um, uh, which camera is it? Camera two. So camera. Uh, let's add on a wait, actually. Eh. No, I don't need to wait to begin with. Camera 2 dot off for three seconds. Uh, no space. Then wait. Um, how much time do I want in there? 30 seconds? 40? Eh, 50. Wait 50 seconds. 
and then camera two dot off for three seconds. Oh, wait. I thought there's a second camera, but no, there isn't. Spotted me. So it doesn't like end the mission. It's just that the camera looks a little bit further than I thought. Um, yeah, what does that mean? I can just restart the whole thing. Let's do that. Does it keep my previous commands? Oh, it's still waiting. Um, can I... Is there some way to make it stop? Like, stop? <laughs> Exit? Cancel? Huh. Huh. I didn't foresee that being an issue. All right, we can also make it play a beep. You know, playing a beep would be really handy to telling me, um, like, when the weight is about to be up. Yeah, that could be... Oh, break. Break. Mm -hmm. Stops all threads. Okay. What do we have again? Has anything changed? Weaver, aimbot, blink. No. Oh. I wanted to do something. Oh, also, I can delete a file? That sounds really dangerous. How would I get it back? <laughs> can I make a file? I mean, it's not listed in the list of things you can do. Hold on, what the heck is this in the distance? What? I think our simulation has some bugs. <laughs> okay, let's try out this beep thing. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to hear that. So I'm thinking I'm just going to wait two seconds before turning the camera off, then turn it off for three seconds. Then, I guess beep to indicate that it's coming back online? Oh, no, that's not going to indicate that's coming back online. You'd have to wait three more seconds. Uh, I don't need to indicate when it's coming back. Actually, I want to. Yeah, wait three seconds, and then beep with tone one. That'll tell me that it's coming back, or actually, that'll tell me that it's already back. <laughs> so that's not much use, but I want to try it anyway. And then we're going to wait for 60 seconds. Or no. No, no, no. How long I want to wait? I want to wait a little bit before then and then beep. So, like, I'll wait 55 seconds. Then I'll beep. Then I'll wait five more seconds. Yeah. Then camera two dot off for three seconds. Okay. Boop. All right. Got time to explore? Sorta. Beep boo. Perfect fizz buzz. Grab the thing. This looks cool, but I don't have to do anything with it. Good, because I'm a little bit stressed about having to spend a lot of time in here. Because then I'll be screwed. No, oh, can't do anything with the lockers. Okay. Well, now I got a bit of a wait ahead of me. <laughs> I'll see you in like 30 seconds. Oh, here we go. Five seconds till it's going to turn off. <laughs> that is so cool. Boop. Thanks, buddy. All right, one down. This one I think should be the same idea. Although the camera's actually on the case itself. Well, this one's actually going to be easier. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you can actually use it sideways. 
Yeah. So actually, let me look at the controls on the bottom right. So use, of course. Right click to stash. So that's just to take it back. And left click hold to pick up. And then from there, I can do the usual stuff. Can I just use it like this? No. I could rotate it. That's a little on the edge. Yeah, all right. Mm. Hold on, break. Yeah, stopped all threads. I thought that when I looked at previous commands, it would it wouldn't actually send the command, but just bring it up for me to modify if I wanted to. But if I press up, it does the last command. It doesn't bring it up. I don't understand why it's doing that, because I don't think it did that before. But no matter. Camera one. So this will just be a simple... Um, I'll just do a wait for five seconds. And then do a beep. And then wait for another second. Then camera one dot off for three seconds. And then that should be it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I need. Oh. Whew. Object incomplete. Cool. So is that really all I need to do? Objective complete. Go to extraction point. Could getting out be difficult, or... Can I just open this remotely and then grapple up? I'm, I'm curious what's downstairs first, though. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know you could break the glass. Oops. Oh. Jesus Christ. That's what that thing is. My God. Meant to break the glass. That'll take me to the showroom. Can also jack into here. Whoa! Oh, I can ride that up to the top! That would be very dangerous right now. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's open this. Door 9. Door nine. Oh, I'm caps locked. Uh, dot open. Sorry, it's a little bit awkward to type because my microphone's kind of in the way of my keyboard. What is that? Okay, it's got a gun. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, I think I should have four, read. Three, two, one. Time expired. Oh, that's just time before the alarm. Well, the alarm's already off, so whatever. But yeah, I should have read the stuff. Trembler. Pressure sensitive floor pad. Alarm will raise when safe is moved. Uh huh. Okay, so what is it that we actually got? Can we look at, like, what we have in our inventory? Is that a bonus that I just got? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's still running. The alarm does not just turn off. Now that the glass is broken, I can just do that. 
Oh, this down here is the, uh, this, we're in the same building that we were doing in the last one, in the last mission. We're just doing different parts of it. That makes sense. So, extraction, boop. Job done. Time penalty. Global average, zero seconds. That's fast. Three alarms. Yeah, not so great. Contract done. Please use chalkboard. Oh, we get to... Wait, we did job one and two? Oh, wait, that was us doing it for real? Oh. It's occurring to me that the stuff we're doing, I don't think it's so much a simulation as it is just a physical representation of the hacking that we're doing. I think that's it. Kitty cat! Oh, look at them beans! Choo-choo's Contractor Warehouse. Sweatware, ROMs, decks, brain boxes, weevils, limbs. Weevil. Hey! <laughs> Remote controlled thing. Oh, we're gonna get taught on how to use it too. Cool. Can't wait to use this little remote control buddy. Look at it. it sounds like a wrench being dropped on the ground. Kind of weird. Quick start. Type exit. Type weaver. Type help. Uh, let's leave that on. Remote control service quadruped. Model TK27. Oh my god! You can move this and the image moves with it. And we even occlude the image. Okay. Clear. Uh, type exit right because we're inside of Telnet right now. Weaver. Oh, Weber. <laughs> Loaded it. Help for a list of commands. Connect. Find the nearest weevils. Move. Alright, so first we need to establish a connection. I guess first we should do find. Name Nell. So we probably do connect Nell. No. Okay. Connect. Weevil name and then one or two. Establishes wireless LAN connection to Weevil and displays video output on video one or two. Oh. On this thing. Wait, isn't this a separate thing? Are we gonna have to like break this out? Like the uh like the deck? So we can watch it, I guess? So, connect. Um. Wait. Oh yeah, it's not like a function like I put the values in here. I think I just connect space. Nell. Space. One. Awesome. Alright, what now? It's got a light. Connect to data jacks. Light. Light. Cooked? What? Light off. It's already off. Light on. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. Oh, we can cam zoom. What kind of levels? Range 1 to 110. Oh, so you can get really fine with it. Cam zoom 50? Cam zoom 110. Wait. 
Why did that zoom out? Why did that zoom out? Cam zoom, zam zoom. Cam zoom 100. I don't understand. Is one the closest? Oh, yes, it is. Huh. Didn't expect it to go in that direction. But yeah, you can zoom really far in. Zoomed all the way out, I guess, is the most useful for just navigation. It can jump! Jump! Whoa. Oh, I thought it would just jump straight up, but it jumps forwards. Oh, little buddy. Here, I want you to check out the data jack. I'm really hoping when you do the data jack connection, like, I, I want to see what it does to connect to it. Are we going to, is it going to shoot out a little wire? And I got to try to do this using the video over here, because I got to remember when I'm using it out in the field, it's not going to be right in front of me. It's going to be somewhere where I can't see it. I'm going to have to rely on the video feed. Data, data jack. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's too cute. And then it gives you a list of one of whatever four functions that it might offer the data jack. So, yeah, be data jack zero. Hey, wait a minute. Now when I press up, it's giving me the command before actually using it. Why did it change? I don't know, but this is how I want it. Definitely by far. Um, oh, how do I... Um, disconnect. Data check. It doesn't seem to say. Maybe you, you just don't worry about it and just move somewhere and it'll disconnect automatically. Oh, you can tell it to stand if it missed it, if it's fallen over. Go, turn. So if we say turn, let's turn. Oh, how many degrees? Negative for turning left and positive for turning right. So turn negative 90. Turn negative 20. Negative 30. Yep. And then is it forward? Oh, it was go. And then move distance. Move distance in what? Like meters or who knows what units? Let's just say move one. Okay, that did very little. So 10 should be fine. 100 should be fine. Oh. Uh. Poor thing. Nell. Well, now we can test the... Where is it? Stand. Stand command. Yeah, buddy. Let's see. Is there anything else to do? Let's try the jump again. So, like, if I wanted to jump onto the table... um, Let's try this. Let's try to jump onto the table. So, let's, like, move... Uh, I don't know... 80 degrees to the l left. Maybe to 15 degrees. That's about facing the table. And then I think I need to say, like, go backwards. Otherwise, we're just going to bump our head. Uh, maybe back some more. And then try jump. Oh. Mm, it doesn't go very far up. So I definitely can't get back onto the table. Oh, I don't know what you did, but it worked. Heppel. 
Heppel. I can't spell. Mm. I feel like the Weaver would be an ideal use for um, the Blink. Like, imagine if we could just... Uh, eh. Imagine if we could just stare at this and then just Blink to do certain things. Just for the common things. Movement and turning, I think, would be good. Let me see if I can actually get that to work. It didn't work last time. So I need to exit this, right? Oh no, I don't need to exit this. Okay, then let's say blink. Once for go. Um, go 20. Wait a minute. I think I just figured out why it's not working. Hold on, let me try it first. It doesn't work. I think the reason is because I'm taking my deck. I think I need to leave it. Oh. Never mind. One blink... equals go 20. I don't understand why it doesn't work. Maybe we just need to install a special thing into our eye and we don't have it yet? Okay, yeah, I just looked it up online and this is, uh, blinking is a feature that you don't actually get until later. So our program supports it, but I'm guessing our eye probably doesn't. So, yoink. Yoink, we're just stashing that in our bag. Yoink, come on, Nell. Look at that cool bike. <gasps> this really does seem to be some dystopian hellish world that we live in. That looks like a bunch of trucks stacked on each other. <laughs> Why? Looks like there's power lines going to that one. Oh, you can see the chain move. Oh, what a cool little place. a coughing noise. I wonder if those bits of dust that puff up, if they make you cough, if you're close to them. Master of the Morning Thunder. Finest Nordia Tea. Number seven. Keep your eyes on your dreams. Then zoom in with your 7.62 millimeter parfocal eye. Oh, what cool illustrations. Cuties. We're some cool hackers. Oh, that's an orange. Took me a second. Tons of instant ramen. Edamame soup. Adult Night School. Nuevos Eros Board of Regent Declares, Lou has attended the prescribed course for Journeyman Study of Engineering and has completed the same satisfactorily. May 1979. Good job, Lou. 
Airplane, an interactive story by Lou and Maisie. You wake up six miles above the planet. Oh my gosh. You remember you're on an airplane. You breathe a sigh of relief. Eat chili. Chili on an airplane? Never seen that served. You snack on your tub of chili. <laughs> Listen, says the stranger next to you. If one drop of that chili gets onto my $4,000 suit, I'm going to fork your uh, fork up your face until you look like one of those wrinkly dogs. Place a bean on stranger's sleeve. You place a bean onto the stranger's sleeve. You called down the thunder, says the stranger. Prepare to reap the whirlwind. The stranger's finger fingers ball up into a meaty fist. Uh, duck. Alas, you're not athletic. Exercise is something you've been thinking about. There was that time in July. Your cousins visited. They wanted to do something outdoorsy. It felt good to wipe cobwebs off your bike and clack across the pier planks. The stranger's fist smashes your face with the fury of a thousand suns. The passenger cabin rips in half. <laughs> Buckle seatbelt or reminisce more? Reminisce more, of course. You reminisce about that time you met that police horse. Your thoughts are interrupted by the gaping hole in the passenger cabin. Everything gets sucked out of the airplane. Flight attendants, luggage, tubs of chili. And you. Flap arms. You flap your arms in an attempt to fly. It doesn't work. Wake up. You wake up six miles above the planet. Oh my gosh. Eat chili. Mmm. Let's place a bean onto the stranger's head. Well, fidgets the stranger. Okay. That's okay. As long as it's not on the suit. <laughs> Go to bathroom. You enter the airplane bathroom. Someone has left a book here. Read book. You read nightmare passages of unspeakable non-Euclidean horror. You vaguely understand that by reading this, you've plunged the world into darkness. The airplane rips in half. A gaping hole sucks everything out of the... Uh-huh. Um, the return to seat light blinks on. Return to seat. You push against the 500 mile per hour winds and return to your seat. Think about that horse. You reminisce about that time you met the police horse. Your thoughts are interrupted by the gaping hole in... <laughs> uh, place a bean on stranger's head. Go to bathroom. This time, let's... I don't know. This time, let's try reading the book, returning to seat, and let's buckle our seatbelt instead of thinking about the police horse. You buckle up your seatbelt. A flight attendant is sucked out of the airplane. Call loved one on cell phone. You pull out your cell phone. A flight attendant hangs on for dear life. The flight attendant yells, Excuse me, all portable electronic devices must be turned off during the flight. If this crashes the plane, me turning my phone on, so be it. You dial a number on your cell phone. Everything explodes. Kaboom. Stranger's head, bathroom, return to seat. Or, wait, no. Uh, read book. Return to seat. Buckle seatbelt. Call loved one. Oh, okay. Sorry. Put away the cell phone. You put your cell phone away. The plane safely lands. See, says the flight attendant, that's the magic of safety regulations. If more people were like you, the flight attendant is interrupted when everything explodes. Hmm. Okay. Stranger's head. Go to bathroom. This time, let's not read the book. You return to your seat. Go to bathroom. Return to seat. Go to bathroom. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think this is going to be any different. I think I have to read the book if I do this. Yeah, okay. Read the book. Think about that horse, uh, the horse and die. Mm, place a bean on stranger's sleeve. Let's do that again, but instead of ducking, let's roll. I mean, all of these are athletic things, and we're not athletic, but... Uh, yep. Mm, same thing. Stranger's fist smashes your face. Uh, instead of reminiscing more, let's buckle seatbelt. Call loved one on cell phone. Okay, so we're back to here. 
So instead of doing anything with the stranger, let's just eat more chili. Something in you moves. It's a gentle stirring where the shoulder meets the arm. It's joy. Pure chili joy. Go to bathroom. Oh god. Now I'm back in this, aren't I? Yep. Read the book. Buckle seatbelt. Call loved one. Kaboom. I don't think there's any way to get through this, is there? Yeah, I think that's it. They can't kill us all. That's grim. So I'm guessing we either make money on the side or try to look like a legitimate company by being just a like electronic repair kind of place. But we're hackers. What does this do? Oh. All right, let's go. The finger lime funicular. Guru Meditation 002F. Device offline or no disk in drive. Oh, right. Job zero in the cage. Payment 900 bucks. Acquire diplomatic pouch in car zero. Hmm. Oh, it prevents you from ejecting the disc when it's running. Good. That's a good thing. What's everybody up to? Oh yeah, I should save. That's a lot of locks. <laughs> Still reading. Young Violent Love. Our diplomatic pouch and car zero. So that car. Let's take a look at the map. Vault. I don't know if this is representing the cars at all. Hmm. Crotilda Heavy Lifting Johnson Spur 4200 uh, Track 210 Auxiliary. So what does this do? Auxiliary. I guess I'm the auxiliary, I think. Oh, that moves us towards that position. I see. Well, it's supposed to be in car zero. Although that makes me extra curious what's in the other cars, if anything. But the look of that, nothing. And by the look of that, also nothing. Ooh, every time I jump, I'm sliding down. <laughs> Am I okay to just go down? Or is there a camera? Seems fine.
70,000 fine or 500 years jail sentence for tampering or misuse of funicular vaults. Oh, I need to put little Nell in here. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so then this is a picture of the vault, just this little vault spot. Funicular zero. Data jack at the other end. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at it. Look at it wiggle around. Go, little buddy. Let's get our CCTV. Although I don't know if we really need it, but what the heck. Oh. Um... Oh, we can just play music whenever we want, huh? A sticky note on zero. We can make our own sticky notes? Oh no, how do I turn it off? Oh, you just gotta keep going. Yeah, so we can put our own sticky notes? Hmm... Apparently not on objects, or at least not on that. Let me see if we can put it on the deck. No, not on the deck either. Type a message. This message will be read by everyone on your friend list. Oh, I see. Hey. <laughs> That's a kind of cool feature, although it doesn't do anything for me, of course. So, Weaver, connect, Nell, video one, um, what's the best way to actually see the freaking screen, I guess, turn it, uh, 45 degrees, probably not 90, yeah, yeah, that's good, okay, go, Dealing with small distances here. Let's say five. Okay, ten. Go ten. Turn ninety. Uh, actually, turn minus ninety. Go back. Go ten more. Then turn ninety. Yeah, that's more in the center. Go fifty. Look at it go! Look at it go, I love it. I love little Nell. Go 60. Go 20. Stop. Oh, you're good. Um. I don't know. It's, but do I need to turn? Probably not. Uh, data jack. Data jack zero. Oh, so it's actually just all available to me? Can Nell even get out of there now? Or are you stuck in there? Hold on. I gotta get Nell out. Uh, turn... 90? Can you fit in there now? No, you can't fit. Um... Supposed to take... Wait, which one am I supposed to take? Our diplomatic pouch. I mean, all of them? Vaults? Funicular? Do I say funicular? No. I don't know. 
Objective complete. Yeah, why not take all of them? <laughs> Do we really have to leave our little buddy behind? That is so sad, but it is just a simulation, right? Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to do Peg Square, Acquired Diplomatic Pouch in Car 1.